This is Mike from Minimal 3DP, and today I'm working with Cure and Clipper. I've been working to improve my experience with using Cure and Clipper together, and I've run across some new scripts that I want to share with everybody that I'm testing out to see how it works. So hopefully if they work for me, they'll also work for you. So I've been playing around with the Clipper preprocessor scripts from Pedro Lamas on GitHub. These scripts add some additional printing stats information. They take care of the time-lapse scripts for Moonraker. And then I can also add uh, preprocessor cancellation so I can cancel uh, individual objects via Clipper. And then lastly, a better time estimator for Clipper. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll show you how I'm installing these and then we'll test them out and see how they work. Before I get started, I want to point out a couple of things. Uh, this does require me to put a Python script on my computer. And also, if I want to use the uh, cancellation process and the estimator, EXEs on my machine. Now, what I've done is I've gone up and taken a look at the code, and I feel pretty comfortable with this code. I can look at what it's doing, and I feel okay. Now, on the flip side, for the EXEs, I've also gone over and looked at that code and looked at reviews and looked at what people are saying. And I feel pretty comfortable with those as well. But I would warn somebody if you're going to install scripts you're not familiar with, take a look at the code or have somebody you know that knows code take a look through it. That way you're just not blindly installing stuff. Now installing these scripts is actually pretty easy. All I'm going to do is go over to the releases and then download the zip file for the source code. So I've gone ahead and I'll download that and that finishes almost immediately. And then I'm just gonna switch over to File Explorer and unzip and then install. So I've gone ahead and downloaded the zip. Next, I just need to right click on and then hit Extract All. And that extracts the preprocessor script. I can go in there, folder, and here's the Python script I need. So next, I wanna go over to Cura and find the correct folder I need. So I've gone ahead and opened up Cura. And if I go to help, I can hit show configuration folder. So you'll notice I'm in my configuration folder and move this over. And here's the scripts folder. So I'm going to go back over to my downloads and I'm going to copy the clipper preprocessor.py file and then paste it into my scripts. Now notice I already have it there, I'm just gonna replace it. And in order for Cura to recognize this, you need to go ahead and close, close Cura and reopen. So let's go ahead and close Cura, and then we'll come back. So Cura is back open. So I'm gonna to go to extensions, and then post-processing and modify G-code. And let me show you how to re-add this. So I'll hit Add Script. And then right here is Clipper Processor version 1.2.0. So I'll add that. And right off the bat, the set print stats info is checked, as is the time lapse take frame. So that's good. This will work with the Moonraker time lapse. And then I have two checkboxes if I want to use the preprocessor cancellation and want to use the Clipper estimator. So let me go ahead and show you how to set those up as well. So back in my browser on GitHub, I'm going to right click on the preprocessor cancellation, open that in a new tab, and do the same for the Clipper Estimator. Open both in a new tab. So I'll start over here. Here's the preprocessor cancellation. So I can review the code and take a look at everything. And what I'm going to do is click on Releases, and then go ahead and download the EXE I need. So I can just click on that, and that will download it to my computer. I'm gonna go over to the Clipper Estimator, and that's the same process. I can review the source code, but I'm gonna to go to Releases, and download the EXE. So now I've downloaded both those, so now let me set them up on my machine. Now, getting this all up and running is fairly simple. So to install, I'm just going to go over to my downloads folder, 
select both the EXEs and copy it. Then I'm going to open up my Documents folder and click New and create a new folder that I'm going to call Cura. Inside that Cura folder, I'm going to create another folder called Preprocessor. And I'm going to paste in those two EXEs. Now I've also noticed that I can create a basically a block file. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to right click, go to new and create a new text document. And I'm going to call it clipper underscore estimator dot dot JSON. And I'm going to get rid of the dot txt. And go on ahead. And I do want to change this. So yes, with the EXE set up, I'm going to head back over to Cura. So I have my preprocessor uh, options open. I'm going to check use preprocess cancellation. I'm going to check use Clipper Estimator. And I want to go ahead and get the paths for these. So if I go back over where I've installed them, or where I've copied them, I'm going to right click on the preprocess cancellation and copy as path. And then I'm going to go ahead and copy that value into the path window. Now I want to make sure this copied with quotation marks. So I want to go ahead and get rid of the quotation marks. If the quotation marks gone, I'm going to go ahead and do the same for the clipper estimator. So let's go back over to our folder here, right click on the EX. Copy as path. So I'm copying the clipper estimator path over into this window and I'm going to get rid of the quotation marks. Now to continue the configuration, I want to change the config source type over to Moonraker URL. And I'm going to go ahead and type in the address of my Moonraker installation for this printer. It's port 7125. And I'm going to go ahead and check this cache config for Moonraker. I've already created my path to that config file. And that was that JSON file I created earlier. So just go over here, right click, and copy as path. Paste that in here and get rid of the quotation marks. Now I've set this up, it looks like appropriately. So I'm going to hit close. And let me go ahead and add some models here. And we'll go ahead and give it a test. So I'm adding two different models. I'm making a little candy dispenser or printing a candy dispenser I make it. I'm gonna go ahead and move these apart a little bit. So that way if I cancel, we can test this. So I'm gonna hit slice and that appears to have sliced correctly. So let me go ahead and save this to my desktop so we can take a look at the G code. So here's the G code right here on my desktop. And I'm going to go ahead, hit more options, and open this up with no plus plus. Now, looking at the code, I can see here's where it's added the support for cancel object. If I scroll to the bottom, I can see here's where it's added the support for the Clipper estimator. So, with those settings in place, my next step is to go ahead and print this model and see if I can go ahead and cancel one of the objects. If I can, then everything's been successful. To activate the cancel object functions, I have to make a couple changes in my configurations. So I've gone ahead and locked into Clipper via main sale. And so I'm going to go over to machine and then the moonraker.config. And I'm going to paste in these two lines, file manager, enable object post processing colon true. And I'll go ahead and put this in the video description. So I'll paste that in, save and restart. And then I'm going to copy this bit of code, this exclude object, and I'm going to paste this into my printer.config. Go over to printer.config and I'm going to go ahead and paste this code in. So I pasted them in, save and restart. And so once Clipper is restarted for me, I'm going to go ahead and upload my files that I sliced in Cura with the preprocessing code enabled. So I hit print, 
and my printer started. Now I'm going to wait till an object starts printing and then I'll show you what it does. Let me pause and we'll come back. On the left hand side, there's a square object. Right hand side, there's a rectangular object. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can cancel the square object on the left. So let's go ahead and switch over to Clipper and Mainsail and see if we can do this. So up the top here, I have an exclude object button. And I'm going to go ahead and exclude the square object. And so I've excluded that. And let's take a look at the print. I've let it run a couple more minutes and it's gone up several layers and it's excluded the object I want to exclude. So overall, that's pretty cool. It's letting me use uh, that exclude object feature and I'm really happy with this in Cura. Well, I appreciate everybody's time today. As you can see, using these post-processing scripts from Pedro Lamas on GitHub it has been pretty productive for me. It's helped me go ahead and cancel objects and added some other functionality, so I'm pretty pleased with this. Uh, if you have any questions, please post them in the comments below. If you like what I'm doing, feel free to subscribe and share the video. Again, I appreciate your time. Hope you have a great day. Thanks. Bye.